Hello everybody, it's Kevin here from Howie Beard Games, and I'm joined with my guest, George the Kitty Cat, today on Howie Beard Games' Wii Wednesdays. Now on this Wii Wednesday we are playing a Nintendo Wii game called Brothers in Arms Double Time. It's based on a true story, so I'm assuming that's a World War II first person shooter in the vein of Call of Duty and Medal of Honor. Uh, I don't know much about this game. I, think I played it once. I'm assuming it's just like a Call of Duty Medal of Honor, but for the Wii, this is a Wii remake. It comes with, it's called Double Time, but it actually comes with two games, so that's why it's called Double Time. Uh, it comes with Road to Hill 30, which is the one that we're playing today, so we'll save the second game for another video. And they are actually on two discs, so just a two disc tray. Uh, the second one is called Earned in Blood, Brothers in Arms, and they're by Gearbox Software and Ubisoft. Rated M for Mature. Let's jump into Brothers in Arms Double Time, also known as Road to Hell 30, on Wii Wednesdays, here on Happy Beard Games. Now I'm hoping this game kind of jumps you into the action because I like those jump in and play games on the Wii. Now, because it's the Wii, and the Wii remote is a crazy controller with lots of cool options and motion controls and lots of stuff to do on it, uh, I want to show you the controls briefly because games like The Conduit and later Call of Duties like Black Ops have really great controller customization features. So real quickly, here is the controller layout. Uh, if you want to look at that or pause the screen, that's what you got to play with. And then the controller features, the settings that you can actually change, are you can't change every button so you got turning turning sensitivity i'm gonna leave it on high i like to have sensitivity high in my first person shooters turning speed you got high medium and low and then you've got do you want to use a grenade uh do you want to throw the nunchuck to use a grenade motion controls uh you can turn that on or off so i'm gonna leave it on for fun is it the pointer messed up or something or is it just me See, it doesn't seem messed up when I can just see it on screen, but it keeps disappearing. And it worries me, because when I get to the gameplay, it might be kind of weird. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, begin game. Finally, let's jump in, let's jump in. A load screen here with some character graphics. Cool. You can kind of get an idea of what this game is going to look like. Remember, this is the Wii... And it's also a port, so it's a Wii remake. I'm assuming the first one was on Xbox or something. Uh, maybe PS2, maybe PS2. Uh, maybe even GameCube, but I don't think so. It might have been Xbox PC, I'm assuming. Uh, but now it's on the Wii. Uh, so it's not Dad like super high end. Course. He said every soldier has two families. Those you raise, and those you raise hell with. I've spent eight days here. Eight days commanding a squad I wasn't ready to leave. Okay, this is like deep, like, story and historical, uh, military story. I kind of want to skip some of these stories because if I do want to play the game sometime, I'll be invested in it, but I just want to get to the actual gameplay, so we'll see how fast it jumps me in. We've got him waking up on the ground on a cloudy day. I'm assuming in the middle of a war zone because I hear some kind of gunshots or something in the background. Wow, whoa, that's how it jumps you in. That's that's how you do it. Oh yeah, sorry guys, there's some cuss words in this game apparently. Wow, uh... What the heck? How do I crouch? Why is it... What? Oh, whoa. Oh, it's stuttering. I was like, what is going on with this game's graphics? It's like a lag, lag stutter. Okay. We can deal with that, I think. I think. It's just weird because the graphics aren't really that high end. Am I not ready to hit him? Okay, so. I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. I mean, I've played a lot of Wii first person shooters. I, I, I should be able to just jump in. Maybe it's just been a while? Let's figure this out. I am. You can crawl, you can crouch, or you can crouch and stand. Okay. They just jump you into a weird part. It's not like I'm gonna die right away. Come on. Get 
Are they dead? Wait, there's guys behind the log. Oh, whoa, we got... We got grenaded. Now, is that a story event, or is that, like... I actually just died there. I think it's a story event, because I killed the guys on the log. Yeah, see, I knew this game was very really mature, but I think they were gonna cuss every two seconds. Wow. Wait, did we just lose, or... Uh, some gore there, guys. Sorry if you're... Uh, I guess they have, like, a thing where YouTube is, like, marked my channel as not for kids. So, there shouldn't be anyone complaining about it. <laughs> I mean, usually on my channel I like to stick with, like, non-rated M games because... I try to keep everything PG, PG-13, uh, depending on what it is. Uh, but it's not really that bad. It's not really that bad. It's just just a, just a Wii game. A Wii little thing. So that was the intro. That was the big intro to Brothers in Arms. Now, I, I was hoping it would jump me into the action, but that was a little chaotic. Uh, not only was it... It was actually stuttering. Uh, it's not like a capture thing. It, it was actually what's stuttering. Uh, and... Yeah, it's just... I don't know. Something about the controls doesn't feel as... Uh, quick reaction as the other first-person shooters I've played on the Wii. Uh, like Red Steel, even. Um, which is by Ubisoft, I think. Different developer, but Ubisoft. Um, and things like Metro Prime, of course. It's, it's a really perfect example of a great first-person shooter on the Wii. Um, even the Call of Duty games, uh, which I played 3 and Black Ops on the Wii, uh, were more responsive than this, but it could be something that I'm just doing wrong or maybe I haven't played the Wii in a while. Yeah, there is a little slowdown and uh, stuttering here. It's more like a quick, like, one second of, like, just frozen. And I think that's just a problem with the game. Not, like, the disc or anything else. It's just the way it is, so we're gonna have to deal with, like, little pop-ins of, um... You know, like, one second lag spikes. Drop... It's not even, like, a drop frame. I don't... It might be a drop frame. I don't know what to call it, really. Just, like, a... Quick lag spike. Okay, now we're now we're in the game. Saving in progress. Please do not touch power or reset. So we're looking around um, for the next objective, which is on our compass down here in the corner I just pointed to, and we're gonna head up towards the trail. And wow, it is dark. It is blurry. It is 480p resolution, and it's on the Wii, and it's a little pixely. And we're looking out for enemy soldiers that we just dropped into this war zone. Which is pretty cool. I, I shouldn't complain about the graphics. It's a product of its time. It's just like the way things are on the Wii. So, oh, now, that, now they're telling me how to play. Cool, that's cool. So you can't really lose at the start, the part where they were getting shot out in the trench. Uh, so we got crouch, stand out. We're headed into a village. Here's none of our fellow soldiers. We'll walk on over here. Where the hell's all your gear? Yeah, where is all my gear? Take I don't have a gun yet. Shoot anything, that's wearing gray. shoot anything wearing gray. Okay, and it's dark, so that's hard. So, press Z, hold Z, look down the side of your... Okay, I was going to say, does it stutter every time? No, it doesn't. Cool. So you have, like, your scope, or your aim, and fire. Why do they want me to fire? I can't move because they want me to fire. Uh, I guess I'll shoot the moon because there's no target. And then press down to reload. Also swing the remote. Well, what the heck? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna press down the D-pad. <laughs> Cause that just like messes up my aim completely if I swing the remote to, uh, you know, re reload or whatever. Looks like I can also punch with it. Like, go like that. Like, I'm hitting someone in the head with the gun for some reason. Uh, if I run out of ammo, melee attack. Okay. So here we got... How oh, is someone hanged up by the parachute there? This is hard. I mean, it's not hard, but it's like... A couple of I feel like when the Wii was out, I was a huge fan of it, and there was a lot of cool first-person shooters that I played on it that I was like, yeah, I wish there was more of this. And I didn't play this one at the time, but it just feels... There's something about it's off. I don't know what it is. I can't pinpoint it. It's like it's slow or something. And like when I go over here, I start to get stuck on the side of the screen. I know this is it's a weird complaint, but uh, it's just... Let's move, Baker. Let's just focus on the game. Wait, ammo? Wait, there's a thing here. Oh, I, did I get the ammo? Dude, come on. Come on, motion controls. It's pretty cool if the controls will cooperate. I'm afraid of when I get into the actual f shooting gameplay. 
that the controller are gonna mess me up big time. Which is sad because I actually really like the Wii Remote for uh, uh, these kind of first person shooters. But something is off and I don't know what it is. It could just be me, could be my setup, but it shouldn't be. Just something, maybe if I keep it on the aim, aim with holding Z, it'll make it a little bit easier to uh, not just aim, but to move the controller and not have it slide around the screen. I'll, cross first. Come I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean in a sec. If if it does work, let's see how this works. Flash, thunder, who's there? Oh, it's another member of our oh, squad. Shit. Mac and Baker, I thought it was lost. Quiet. Keep your voice down, or the whole goddamn German army will show up. There'll be plenty of time to reminisce later. That'd be so Everybody scary. Like you were, like no you're, idea. like 20 years old or 18 years I'll old, and out. you're like Stay just thrown into a war against the Nazis. Like literally, like just jump out of a plane. And then you're just like, okay, we well, gotta be real quiet and sneak around and stuff. Meet up with the squad. What are they gonna do? Knock on the door? Could be anyone in that building. Hello, just we American. S'il vous plaît, laissez-nous en paix. Americans, what town is this? S'il vous plaît, passez ici. I have no idea what she's saying. French. I can't understand a goddamn word she's jabbering. I speak a bit, sir. Then get your ass over here, son. Son. Pouvez-vous nous dire où nous sommes? Juste avant Saint Mary Glees. Uh, she says we're just northeast of Saint Mary Glees. Damn it! Well, we're heading the wrong direction. I'm gonna see if I can gather some more guys. Y'all head that way through the gate and link up with anyone else you find as you head east. Stay alive. That's an order. Stay alive. That's an order. Hey, we got a medal awarded. Why is that a chapter? I got perfect victory, which is cool, but I don't think we didn't find anything. How is there a way we could have lost or not got a perfect on that first stage? Because that's weird. They just give it to you. Like I literally didn't do anything. Well, I mean, I did stuff. I walked around and learned the controls, but yes, now on stage two, the real action should begin because. Uh, the first one was more just to, like, how to walk around and aim and stuff. Take it out! Okay, we gotta take out the AA gun and follow this that. guy. You just broke her damn gate! I get... Shove a sock in it! Come on, dude. It's the middle of a war zone. I don't think she's gonna mind if we broke open someone's gate. We're going into the fields here. Where we've got C to crouch. And a little bit of lag spike there. Um, C to crouch, C to go up. Like, it's, a, it's not a hold, it's a click. I'll uh, get Z to aim, and I'm losing track of my dudes over here. Just follow the arrow on the compass. Yeah, this is, uh... It's weird because it doesn't really push the limits of the Wii, but it's still laggy. So it's, it's a bad port in that way, in technical regards. Uh, the game itself might have been cool in the original. Oh, this is pretty cool. I, li I like this. I like what they're doing here. You've got like an overhead tactical view, which is pretty cool, actually. I feel like when the original came out, it might have run better on PC. It probably did. Uh, so it might actually be pretty cool. If you play it on a different console, I mean. Uh, it's okay on the Wii so far, but it's not great so far. Uh, so you can zoom and... Okay, that's a lot of text there. Okay, so you press 1 on the Wii remote to switch between your normal like gameplay like here I'll show you like this is the normal gameplay and then there's like the situational awareness thing uh, so we've got to toggle between our characters and the enemies and kind of strategy it out somehow it's kind of weird it's pretty cool though that they have this it just zooms out from first person and you got this like strategy game style tactical setup that's really cool I like this I just don't know how I don't really is there anything I can do? Like, we're gonna attack these guys, right? Is that, is that, is that set up for attacking? Oh, I click on them with the pointer or something? No. Let's just go back to, uh, first person and fight them out. Bad shot. Oh 
done? There's one guy right there. He's Four dead. Krauss, over there. Baker. Sauerkraut. Gotta get around him. So I can reload. Isn't there a reload? Or is it? It's uh. Wait. What is the reload button? I, I forgot already. I'll just have to auto reload. I can't see him because his health bar is like over his head or something. Oh, there he is on the ground. I got that guy in the leg and I shot the other guy too, but it's just what's going on? <laughs> like everything was good until like something just got stuck in the controls. It's hard to see them from a far distance. It might be easier when you watch it on YouTube, but on my TV it's hard to see these guys that are way off in the field because of the low resolution and I'm on a 4K TV. So it might be easier for you guys somehow, but I don't know. It's hard for me to aim and then like try to aim for their heads or their bodies when they're so far off in low resolution. I do have it upscaled pretty high. I have it upscaled to 1080p. I got the M Classic and some of their cables that help it get a little bit better picture quality, but uh, it's still a little hard to aim when they're that far off. And the game, uh, it seems like they want you to shoot from like a cover spot, and it's just a little too small for me to really see. I feel like if this was Call of Duty, I might have a little bit of better luck shooting them and aiming. Sa oh, saving. Maybe that's why I was stuttering. Saving? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. How you, you, you point... I was going to show that it's in the last level, but then it ended. You point to the end of the screen and start doing this, like, auto-spin. And it's, like, faster than it would if you were just pointing like that. So let's get back to the game plan. Okay, I was not moving there. And I don't know if it's the game or the Wii remote just bugging out. Got that guy. Well, I shot him in the back, but he didn't even react. Come on. Oh, I had to reload. No, I didn't know I had to reload. Got that guy. Okay. I don't think I have grenades yet. See, why does it do that? I, I, I didn't move. I mean, you can't see my Wii remote right now, but I'm just gonna rough and shoot this guy, because... Okay, that was a bad idea, because I didn't reload. <laughs> that was really bad idea. I thought I would reload faster than that for some reason. Um, okay, we're, we're good. Alright. Sneak around these uh, brush. And what was the reload button? Was it select or plus? I don't think I have any reloads. I don't know. I'm just trying to waggle and press the button, but I don't think I have any more ammo packs. Wow. It's just kind of... It's not a perfect port. I, I'm complaining about it a lot on this video, but it's really, like, it's really hard to control sometimes. And it just pops up around, like, like that, I can do this. I can shoot the guy. And then it like autumn see like that. It's like I'm turning left to right really fast. Oops. That was my bad, that one. I got that guy. Any more bad guys? Let's switch to tactical view and just a little bit of a let's look around here. I'm pr I'm assuming this game never had multiplayer because of the tactical view, so it's not like a Call of Duty where you can just play it online. Uh, against right. other people. I'm trying to plant this bomb on the anti-aircraft gun cannon. Uh, so let's get rid of that. Get close to the... okay. Let's blow it up. Oh, there we go. We got him. I was like, what is going on? Oh. My team is going ahead and I can't get catch up to them because I'm too... too hard to control. Oh. That one. Okay. Reload. No, I don't want to smack my friend. Reload is... I thought it was B, but B is shoot, obviously, because it's like a gun. Oh, it's down the D-pad. Come on, here we go. Come on, Kevin. If I could just walk 
and stand still for a sec. There we go. There we go. It's a lot better with this gun. Is there no one left? I think there might be one more dude over here. Yeah. Got him. There is a... Uh, that's so... It's it's bad. Uh, okay, like, I'm not even gonna, like, avoid... Like, jump around it. It's pretty bad when you go to shoot someone. Not this guy, of course, but... I, I went to shoot him and I pressed the trigger and there's, like, a lag spike. As you, are like, click the trigger button to shoot him. And during that lag spike, the character could move around or whatever, but... Um, like, the game's frozen, so he could, you don't know if he's gonna dodge the shot or what, and where am I going? Oh, get back, get back, get back. Get back to where I was. I don't think there's a run button. Okay, so, what do we gotta do here? Are we going here? No. I think I was supposed to go up there, but there's someone shooting at me, so let's take cover here. There's someone in that building. Let's try this tactical view, because I, I do want to play the game. Like the way it's intended to be played, but on this Wii port, and it's not. Oh, I'm like my guns going through the wall. Come on, my head's like in the wall. Come on, I don't know if that's like only on the Wii version or what, but it's just. I don't know. And it's not that I don't like the Wii or first-person shooters on the Wii. It's just uh, this game not the best port. So there's a guy like right in there. You can see through the wall to see him. Um, so he's in there. Uh, I think what I gotta do is uh, either. No, I can't sneak around the back. Um, I got it. Oh, I go in the stable here. Okay, there we go. I couldn't figure it out for a sec, but let's get back to the game. Let's go in here. Oh. Okay, here he is. I can shoot him once, he should die. You see that lag? Like, I got, I got shot, like, once or twice during that lag spike. I got a German rifle. Someone's throwing a bomb. I mean, uh, how do I... Get around them. We have to get a flank on them. Well, I'm trying to flank them. I'm trying. They're up there now. Got them. Got them. There's a couple guys up there. I don't know if the trio can provide much cover, but... One. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I can't do it. Shoot that guy hiding behind the horse. Uh, let's crouch. Shoot. It's doing that thing where it just rotates around the camera again. Now what I want to do? Reload my gun. Well, I guess I don't have to. What other guns do I have? I know I have a handgun. And I have, okay, I got that. I thought I picked up a German gun. Maybe this is the German gun. I just don't know my guns. Okay, it's right there. See so if you like these games where it's like that hide behind, crouch behind object, you know, like jump up and shoot kind of thing. With a little bit more tactics involved and a first person shooter. Uh, you might like this, but I would still say avoid the Wii version. I don't know if the second disc, the second game out here, might be a little better. But I'm assuming, since they're both released at the same time in this two-pack, uh, that they both have the same problems with the game engine. Or whatever the heck the problem is. I think I got out of cover for some dumb reason, so I shot him. But I, don't, I think he dodged... Okay. I think he dodged it. Or maybe it was just the Wii remote. I don't know. I, I'm not really saying that it's the Wii remote, it's the way the game, you know, is using the Wii remote. Now, is that, like, load bar up there, like, that little, like, pie that's, like, with a clock or whatever above their heads? Is that their health? Or armor? Or what is that? I think it's, like, something like their health. But, like, I don't know. Did I get that guy? Because the, the aim there was red, the pointer was red. No, I didn't get him. He's still... Okay, he's dead now, but there's three guys left. Two guys left. Let's see if I can get around. Okay, here we go. Crouch. Oh, crap. Oh, someone got him. Sweet. That's cool. 
an NPC that actually does something. If you want a game that NPCs actually do something to help you out, here's a game <laughs> that they do it. Of course, it's still hard effect to play and control. I'll sneak up behind this guy. And blow his brains out. Okay, so we got that. Now we, I guess we destroy this next uh, anti-aircraft gun. Let's get out of here. Where's my buddies? Okay, we blew it up. Now where the heck? Oh, there. Oh yeah, the the they're right there. We're going up here. Cool. That is uh, can't the end of this mission, now. maybe. Four ID is coming up through Utah Beach. Because I can't move, so I think it's the end of that mission. All over that area. It, it's kind of a cool game. It just doesn't run well or control well on the Wii. That's probably my final verdict on this one so far. If you want to play Brothers in Arms, avoid the Wii version and uh, play it on a different console with a different controller. So I don't know. I feel like this would be great on a computer, a computer game, like just mouse and keyboard it, and it would probably control better, run a lot faster, and maybe even look a little bit better. And I don't really know much about this series. Uh, all I know is that it was kind of like a Call of Duty Medal of Honor. It seems a little more slow paced than uh, definitely the newer Call of Duty. It's just a slower paced, uh, even maybe more slow paced than the Medal of Honors that I played on the GameCube and PlayStation back in the day. Um, but there were some good things about this game too. I really like the overall idea of the game, the story of the game. Um, the characters seemed likable enough from how briefly we saw them. Uh, the way it plays is basically like a Medal of Honor or early Call of Duty video game. And I do like the tactical mode where you just press 1 and it switches you out of first person, pauses the game, and you get to see a strategic layout of the level that you're on. So that was really cool. So it's not completely a terrible game, it's just the Wii version is uh, not so good port of this game. So I'm assuming if you've played Brothers in Arms on other consoles or PC, uh, you have much better experience and different thoughts on it than I would. Uh, so that was Brothers in Arms Double Time, the first game in the pack, Road to Hill 30 for Nintendo Wii. And it's pretty cool, but it's not that cool on the Wii. Alright everybody, thanks for watching today's Hybrid Games Wii Wednesdays. Stay tuned for more Wii Wednesdays and future Hybrid Games videos. Uh, coming up soon, every Wednesday, on Hybrid Games. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. Please be sure to leave me a like, comment, subscribe. Share it with your friends on various social media. I have an Instagram and Twitter as well, and Facebook. Alright everybody, bye!